<laughs> so welcome ladies to healthy heart another healthy heart and i am so honored to see you guys in the little blocks and we're still in the land of living and we still have a sound mind yes. and so to god be the glory and i had asked you and Joy, and you didn't hesitate, and I'm so grateful to God. If I could interview you guys as best friends and how do you do it being so far away? Mm -hmm. That's what amazes me, because through the years, I've known you all for years and years and years, well, of course, Joy, since day one, and you all have um, not been like, I ain't talking to her. I need to give her a break. I haven't heard any <laughs> of that, and that just like, Wow, it's if anything, amazing. the opposite. It's like, I miss my friend. <laughs> I miss my friend. Yeah. I know it. And it's foreign. It's so sad that it is so foreign. But, um, you know, I praise God for what I'm watching you guys. And we know that it's available for all people. And there are different types of friendships. And so I just wanted to talk to you guys about this. So either one of you, when did you meet? How did you meet? When did you meet? And how long ago? So you wanna go? No. <laughs> I can't, I know it was in high school, but I can't remember exactly. Joy, you might have a better memory than me when it comes to like exactly where and when, like exactly when. I think it wasn't wasn't until sophomore year that I knew who you were. I don't think freshman year I have much. I don't have any memory, but of you. But at sophomore year, I remember knowing who you were, um, and we didn't really talk much in high school it was senior year senior year we did yeah. um start talking more and then freshman year of college is when the friendship really really grew yeah wow For sure. so not to date yourselves but about how many years is that <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> How many? <laughs> From when we live. <laughs> <She's> um, <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice try. <laughs> More like 15. <laughs> wow. Five. Wow. 15 years. Mm -hmm. So how long have you guys been in different cities, different locations? It's been how many eight years? years? Eight years last month. Um, wow. Yeah. So eight I years? Huh? I moved here July 2012. <laughs> That's amazing. That's I amazing. Know. I know. Now, either one of you or both of you can decide. I'm, I need to know, since you guys are so neat and good friends, what makes a good friend? What, what goes into making a good friend? That's such a loaded question. It is. Well, so let me back it up. Let me give you less of a loaded, and then we go into it. Either one of you speak about the other person, a characteristic of that person that makes a good friend for you hmm. and that shouldn't be so loaded maybe no that one i'll go first so that way i have sometimes i feel like our answers may be similar i could be wrong so i'm, st <laughs> I'm still in it first before <laughs> before you can before you can so i'm not totally sure if it's necessarily a characteristic but i think the one thing that um i have appreciated the most is there is absolutely nothing i could tell her to where I feel like she would look at me any differently, to where the friendship would be any different, um, to where it would change anything, to where she wouldn't see. Sometimes if you're honest with people about certain things, it's like, it, does it negatively impact the way they view your character, who you are as a person? Um, but with Brittany, that is not the case. I, I, there's, I mean, there's, she knows it all. And it's been the good, the bad, and the super ugly. <laughs> and <laughs> super ugly. Because <laughs> yes. uh, uh, just ugly wasn't enough. But yeah. um, it hasn't changed anything. If anything, it's deepened the bond. So mm -hmm. wow. that's, I would, I would definitely, I knew you were going to say that. And I, I would say it's the same for me. I, it's such a safe space. And I feel like that's so, it's so important. Um, there is, I, I think every one of your friends will be able to, if, and if they don't do this, then you really have to probably question your friendships, but every one of your friends, I think, should to some extent be an extension of who God is. So like, mm -hmm. um, like um, for, with joy, I feel like there is, you know, there's grace. And I think that, you know, I mean, probably for her as well, but like, there's just a grace. And I think that, again, there, it's a completely judgment-free zone where we can talk about anything with, and be able to walk away from that um, with better, 
like regardless of what it is and never feeling any kind of shame, never feeling any kind of like um, regret for having said anything. Like it's just, um, it's a safe, healthy space full of grace that um, is a source of peace too, you know, when you have that. So yeah. That's good stuff. Yeah. All right. Now this, let's say nobody knew you guys and you had to market the other person, like give a reference. What would you want the world to know about your friend? But let's not even say she's your friend, but you have to market her and they don't know you know each other. So how could you share with the whole wide world something about this individual? Who wants to go first on that? So to the one thing that, like, okay, so the one thing that immediately comes to my mind, because there's so many different things that I could use to market her, but one of the things would have to be how well versed she is how well spoken oh my gosh i always knew that um but when we did our um our bible study like i legit maybe envy isn't the right word jesus but i legit was like <laughs> oh my gosh like she's so well spoken and just being able to just like from and like sometimes when I think that when we're on the phone, I'm kind of like here, and I know sometimes <laughs> she's got to feel this, but I'm just kind of like here and here and here. Whereas like she can literally take a thing, whether it be explaining a story or whether it be trying to like you know when we were going through the Bible study and like being able to go through like Nehemiah, like she's just so well spoken, and I think that mm -hmm. not everybody has that gift, and so amongst all of the gifts that Joy has, that would be one that immediately came to mind so if I was gonna wow. all right I'll hire her so Joe <laughs> let's hear it from you <laughs> um so for me for me for Brittany it's some it's just something I don't know if there's a word to describe it maybe I'll think of one but it's just something about her that just draws people in um there's a warmth there's a sense of sincerity she's a big encourager um, and she'll encourage any and everybody. And it's just something about her aura that just makes you want to be in her space. And it's not like, it's, it's really not just me, but it's, it's you j just see it's widespread. Um, just, I mean, not to make like social media following isn't what's important, but just even on social media and just, she just has a personality where it just draws you in and you just feel better being in her presence or just saying you you know you've been around her you, I mean you know firsthand whenever you know anything that's going on in my life big small um Brittany's one of the first per people that I have to talk to about it and if I don't if I only get one person may not have to be two because I tell my mama pretty much everything too but I like I have to I have to talk to Brittany about it is is she I just want to like kind of share what's going on in my world like just literally just share my share my world not in the like Mary is it Mary J romantic way but just like just just I just you know I just feel like it's just so every time like when we are um Sorry, my phone rang. You're um, every every time when we're hanging out, it's just like, do we have anything else we gotta talk about? Is it time to go? Is it late? <laughs> what a good answer. That's good. Oh my so gosh. do you think that uh, best friends just happen or is it something you gotta work on? Or is it like oh, that's the best friend, or do you have to work on the relationship to become that best friend? I feel like I, it can be a oh. little, you, can go ahead, you can go ahead, do it. I went first last time. You're good. Okay. I, I, I think it's several factors. Um, I, like now where, where I am and where I know Brittany is in our faith is God ordained. It's his sovereignty. And for one, um, mm -hmm. for two, I think it's uh, two other things. It's personality compatibility. Like we are, we definitely have two distinct personalities, but they just work very well together. And then I think with what my friendship with her, with Brittany has taught me is that when you share a certain experience in life, especially a really, really like just big one that is shaping who you are. And when you have that in common with someone, um, you can relate with that individual on a level that nobody else really mm -hmm. can. And it just really builds a connection that, um, 
Yeah, that I, I, I mean, I'm com- confident we'll never be broken, no matter how different our lives become. And they've become very different. When we first really connected, our lives were super similar. Um, but we have very different lives now. But because of that foundation and the shared experiences and how we were able to be there for each other through those times, that's I've, God. And then that is the foundation of our friendship that I feel will never be shaken. Wow. See what I'm talking good. about? See how well versed? <laughs> like, literally, like, and it's so, it's so easy. It's just like easy, like Sunday morning, just like. Da, 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 da. Wow. Um, I absolutely agree. But I also do to the second part of your question. I also don't take away the fact that there is work. Um, I think with any relationship, um, platonic mm-hmm. or romantic, I don't think we can like neglect that. And I think that you know certain situations will demand or require that there be more work. So, for instance. Um, we'll make sure now because we're not able to see each other frequently, like Thursday night FaceTime call or like Thursday night phone call, <laughs> girlfriend, like grab the wine because you <laughs> got to make sure that like you're not neglecting that time, no matter how busy it gets. And at the end of the day, you, you make time for what you want to and whatever is important or priority to you. So and when I come in town, like making sure, you know, we see each other. Like if I don't see anybody else, I'm going to see that one. Wow. And that was my question, going to be my next question. With you guys being busy moms, different states, how do you, what's your key for staying connected, staying so close that the distance and the time doesn't push you away? So it's an intentional Thursday night thing. So if I kind (laughs) of call somebody and I don't get answered, I'll know it's a Thursday (laughs) night. I think that's what it is, though, is just making sure that you are make, you know, making time. But I think the one thing is that kind of similar to what people say, you know, when you spend something that spend your life doing something that you love doing, it doesn't feel like work. It's the same thing. It's like, it doesn't feel like I'm working or like I'm having to like work at this friendship. It just flows. It's just easy. If I have something I need to ask her or tell her about, like one of the things I can say, and I'm so thankful for, and I know Joy knows this is that she is, when it comes to um, being a mother, she is the, the one person um, outside of my mom. And even there are times where I'll even go to Joy first. And the only reason is just because she knows the situations and stuff like that. But Joy, um, I admire her so deeply um, as a mom and how she's raising her kids. And so um, just anything that I've got going on or just even just want to talk or girl, we got to catch up just being intentional about that time and making time for, you know, those conversations and the time we can talk. Wow. Do you ditto joy? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. (laughs) I, and Brittany's a pretty amazing mother as well. So don't, don't, yeah, don't be, (laughs) <laughs> but um iron I, sharpens iron yes right right and like I can yeah it's so I mean we we echo in each other and I feel like we could go on and on and on but I feel like in the moments where it's just like I'm I feel like I'm falling apart or she knows she's patient with me she's well versed but I there's certain something in my life I'm walking through right now and every five days I call her with a different direction that I'm going in <laughs> and sometimes I'm I feel like she Please call Brittany. Please <laughs> go on the front porch. Please. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. And I'm serious. <laughs> Ooh, now this, it could be funny or not so funny. But both of you, what's a favorite friend memory that you can think of? <laughs> God. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Whoa. I mean, and so since we're on the internet, you know, so it's recorded for the rest of our life. So right. I don't know. I just wanted to throw that disclaimer in there because you guys have some history. <laughs> Can we share a couple maybe? Yeah, please. Oh my gosh. One of the funniest ones that I think about. Like, <laughs> and then we, like, this was before we became really, really close, before we had children and everything. We were with a group of friends and we were riding <laughs> around downtown Louisville and I, going who knows where. I don't know where we were going, but there's a certain song, uh, the a rap artist, Will John, he sings, he raps with a lot of aggression and a lot of force. <laughs> And Brittany was singing this song at the top of her lungs. Um, and it was just so funny. And to this day, when this song comes on, I remember that and I laugh every single time. That is so every funny. time. I don't remember what song that was. 
We'll talk about that one off. off All right. I think I have. I think I have an idea. That is so funny. <laughs> if you have another memory, say it because I'm really trying to figure out like what would be like. You know, it's hard for me to come up with one. I just know there was a season where um, our like our apartments weren't that far away from each other. And even the second, when we moved into two different apartments, we, or when we moved from down near U of L's campus, we moved further away from each other. But it was just so many um, nights that we would just spend on the couch. Our sons were playing together in the bedroom. And there was, I mean, that's, that was where the conversation, just some of the best conversations that we've ever had mm -hmm. a lot of tears cried mm -hmm. a lot of laughs and so it's not it, it's really just that season I think I don't know if I could point to one yeah. specific memory absolutely I remember I still have pictures of like Bryson and Noah and like the Tupperware bins <laughs> you know like going up <laughs> parks like like literally fast forward in a couple years and putting like pictures side by side oh, of them too. like Bryson feeding like Noah <laughs> I mean Noah feeding Bryson like those little puffs like mm -hmm. it's so 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 many memories my god <laughs> oh man yeah that's uh, sweet there's just so there are so many memories so with you guys uh still having other friends and being around people <laughs> you and Atlanta and Joy you here in Louisville what uh, when you meet new people, and Brittany, I know you met some people because I mean to get up and move. You know what is about what? What is it about somebody that you would be like? Hmm, I wouldn't mind being their friend. 